the cauldron need tea to heal. Here, drink it. Thank you. I can feel it working. Just give me a moment. Those critters living in the cemetery took care of that. It was all gone. I had to look elsewhere. You went into the cemetery? Into the tunnels below. I found the old laboratory, the old artifacts, all of it. The tunnels? They must be crawling with failed experiments. There were all kinds of things down there, even more creatures like you. They dug tunnels all the way into the dungeons. One of them was huge, covered in armor, and I found this strange book on his body. Why did they take Darfa? What do they want with her? Have you ever heard of the Tenebrae monks? Yeah, at Vinificus. They're an ancient order that's been gone for centuries, right? Weren't they the ones who invented the Oculus? Along with much of the technology and magic used today, they were obsessed. Most of their discoveries have been forbidden and forgotten. Okay. What about it? At one time, the Tenebrae Order had temples all across Antelor, until their enemies united against them. Every monk was killed, every temple destroyed. I'm looking for Darfa, not a damn history lesson. Do you want my help or not? Look, every minute I'm not out hunting for Darfa. Go on. I have a point to this, young man. Try and bear with me. Every Tenebrae temple was destroyed in the war, except for one, the Sixth Temple, the Temple of Enlightenment. This island's very name, Tebris, is a remnant of those days. Ages ago, it was called Tenebris, and the Sixth Temple was where the Tenebrae conducted their most secret experiments. New oculi, crossbreeding species to create new races and portals that could manipulate space and time. Time portals? That's how I ended up in the past? Your past and our present. But Adramelic must have made a mistake, sending you into the past instead of into the nethers. I've always thought it was impossible. But he's done it somehow. The Nethers. A place outside time. Endless emptiness. He always thought there was a way to manipulate the Tenebrae portals to transport anything there. Anything or anyone. Hold on. This Adramelech you keep talking about, he's the creature who attacked Darfa? Yes. He believes he is the prophet of the tribe and the true successor of the Tenebrae. Okay, what's the story with this Adramelech? What tribe are we talking about? 
And what does any of this have to do with DARPA? As I said, dozens of inventions were created at the Temple of Enlightenment. Major advancements in every field, experimental weapons, and life. Playing gods. Yes, they were creating, without limits or boundaries, the Tenebrae considered themselves above laws and morality. If they had a need from slave labor to weapons to gladiators, they simply found a way to create it. I should know. They created me. They made you? Yes. The tribe was created by the Tenebrae. Rats can survive almost anywhere. A tenacity that the Tenebrae thought perfect for a new race. And they were right. Your race survived, and the Tenebrae didn't. But why are you the only one who speaks? Only a handful were made to be leaders. The warriors don't need a voice. They only need to hear and obey. They do have a language of sorts, but it's very simple and they would never speak to anyone outside the tribe. Wait, you're their leader? Then why the hell don't you just tell them to stop trying to kill me? I'm not their leader anymore. At one point, Adramelik and I led the tribe together. He was the brain, I was the heart. The others simply followed. But now, I'm an outcast, and Adramelik has led them down a violent path ever since. But that still doesn't explain why Darfa came here. Did Adramelik lead her here? Why would he? I have no idea what Adramelik has been doing since I left the tribe. The experiments have no doubt continued over the years. Adramelik always wanted to leave the dungeons and the island behind. Perhaps, your friend plays into that in some way. He wants to leave? What for? Look at the Tenebrae experiments he decided to focus on. Teleportation. Oculus. Oculus construction. Crossbreeding different species for combat. The goal of the Tenebrae was always to conquer. His goal is the same. I've dealt with my share of maniacs trying to conquer Antelor, but it still doesn't explain Darfa's place in this. She is part orc, is she not? My guess is that Adramelik either wants to use her blood to create warriors, or to see how the eyes of an orc function with the oculus. In your future, it appears he succeeds. You have to stop him in this time. So why did he give me a chance? Why send me here? He must still be experimenting with the portals. You're a destructive element. You being here has to be an accident. A destructive element. I like the sound of that. So if he thinks he sent me to the nethers... Then he doesn't know you're here. You may be able to stop this madness before it spreads beyond the island. Hold on a second. I want to find Darfa, not get involved in some rat war. If Adramelik's plans succeed, it will soon be everyone's war. I just want to find Darfa. If Adramelik stands in my way, that's his choice. Where would he take her? Most likely, to the old dungeons under the temple. Now we're getting somewhere. How do I get there? It will be difficult. The Tenebrae Valley that holds the prison and the temple is to the southwest. But the tribe has made it their territory. It's mostly inaccessible due to the mountain range. The only path I know of was cut off by an avalanche Adramelic triggered in an attempt to kill me. I suspect the avalanche was also planned to cut the valley off from anyone who would oppose him. He tried to kill you with an avalanche? 
I can't believe you two used to rule together. So, there's no way into the valley. I'm sure he thinks he killed me. He would have come after me otherwise. But if in your vision, they were in the southeast a few days from now, that means that there is a hidden entrance, and you've already found it. The tunnels, of course. But there's no way I can fit through them. I hardly managed to squeeze through the cracks to get out of there. I can help with that. The Tenebrae invented many amazing things, and I've been able to reconstruct some of them. Like this one. What's this? A powerful Tenebrae explosive, made from the same crystals found in these mountains. It contains more than enough power to blast open the passage into the tribe's tunnels. Thank you, Arias. Where did Adramelech get the idea that humans needed to be cleansed? Not just humans. Every race was targeted. Any but those inducted into the Order. And a tribe of rats are supposed to take over for the Tenebrae. Adramelech got the idea from an old Tenebrae volume, the Chronicle of the Order. I ignored it while he obsessed over it. He translated it, filled in the gaps, and made it the tribe's gospel. He taught the tribe that they were elite guards, the Praetorians of the Tenebrae, and he taught them about the cleansing. Cleansing the world of the imperfect? Yes. He said that according to the Book of the Tenebrae, the cleansing of Antelor was our sole purpose, our ultimate destiny. By the time I confronted him, it was too late. He had the fever of insanity in his eyes. He attacked me, and I fled. If you rule the tribe with Adramelech, how old are you? I am centuries old. The tribe was engineered for longevity, and the leaders live the longest. Do you remember being created? I remember little from that time. I know we survived the destruction of the Tenebrae, and that we lay dormant long afterwards. Once we awoke, it took time to remember and understand who and what we were. The tribe was drawn to Adramelic and myself, either by instinct or by Tenebrae programming. Adramelic and I led the tribe peacefully for decades. Then slowly, our leadership unraveled. You fought for soul leadership? No. We uncovered more and more Tenebrae teachings and artifacts, and Adramelech became fascinated and eventually obsessed by it all. He read their scripture and deciphered their chronicles until, one day, he proclaimed us the Chosen. The Chosen? He was convinced that our survival meant we were the chosen race, created by the Tenebrae to succeed them. He talked incessantly about leading us to perfection and cleansing the world of imperfection. He became even colder, detached from everything except the artifacts, emotionless. What kind of perfection? You mean the metal all over his body? The metal is actually a part of him. He thought his humanoid parts were an abomination, so he began replacing them with Tenebrae technology. He was obsessed with perfecting himself. So, how do I use this explosive? Just throw it at the rock wall? No. Carry it gently, place it in a crack in the rock, Pull the fuse and run. You'll have to the count of 20 to get far enough away. Pull fuse, get far away. Got it. Anything else I should know? The crystals may be poisonous to humans. Avoid any fumes or vapors left in the wake of the blast. Good to know. 
What does it do? Poison you? Blind you? Poison you? Perhaps. But it definitely wouldn't blind you. The Tenebrae valued the eyes for their research and their experiments with the oculi. They took great pains not to destroy them. Even the tools they used to extract the eyes were delicate, so the corneas wouldn't be scratched. How considerate of them. So I can watch while I'm poisoned to death. Great. One more thing. Why did you help me? I've been watching those men since they arrived. They are in some kind of conflict with each other, which is unfortunate for me, as my hut is near their camps. They set fire to my crops and tried to burn down my hut. When I saw you occupying their attention, I took advantage. I certainly wasn't expecting to get hit as a result. I'd better get going, Arias. Good luck.
bet you're glad you met me. There are always seems to be a few more of you to kill.